everyone, did you guys enjoy your day? I hope yes, because it's a great day today. So in this video, I will share to you the learnings that I acquired from watching the documentary video of Coco, a gorilla that can communicate with humans. Is it interesting? Let's go! Language is the basic way in communicating with other people and so as other creatures. It uses not just our mouth to speak, but also chanting, using gestures, sign language, and symbols. Without language, it must be so hard for us humans to communicate. By having a language, it is possible to communicate with animals just like the gorilla. They have their own emotions and can express it also because we are just the same on them, only the appearance varies. As I have watched the video documentary about Coco, a gorilla, I have learned that people can communicate with the animals and can create a beautiful human-animal relationship that is truly fascinating. One of the examples is this is the relationship of Coco and Penny. Penny's full name is Dr. Francine Patterson, a president and scientific director of the Gorilla Foundation. She is a student before. She's in her doctoral of psychology department at Stanford University, and she wants to work with Coco and propose that Gorilla could learn how to speak with humans using sign language. They had no idea that after meeting with each other 30 years ago, they would become friends that shatter stereotype and change our outlook to both Gorillas and ourselves. Along the way, I have never imagined that Coco can learn a sign language through Penny that made them the first to share a common language. And reveals the power of language has to build bridge between species. Just like as Coco has her emotions, she can be very silly, get a good sense of humor, and can be stubborn also. So Coco's Japanese name is Hanabiko means fireworks child and born on the fourth day of July 1971 at San Francisco Zoo. Coco's first word that learned from Penny was drink and eat. Penny would sign a drink and Coco would imitate her. Coco was quick to adapt the sign language in just two weeks which is very impressive for a little gorilla and her vocabulary was growing over 200. The fact that gorilla uses their natural gesture system to communicate, it makes Coco easier to learn the sign language of human. So Coco has her own sign language, it called GSL which means Gorilla Sign Language. So Coco can also be disappointed just like what happened when she finally introduced to Michael because she wants a baby but Michael the gorilla is three and a half months old. Being with new gorilla, Coco cannot use to having that it's difficult for them most of the time. They will fight but eventually they became friends just like humans. When we met other people, we tend to hate or ignore them because we're not used to being with them. But eventually, when we got to know them, our perception will change. Being with Coco, Penny has rough times also. Her patience can be tested at times just like kids raising by their mother. It's not that easy because sometimes she can't understand Coco but despite all of that, their friendship were going stronger. Another thing is that amazingly, Coco is great at painting which makes me so small because I hardly do painting. I don't have the talent just as what Coco had. I love how her painting shows what her personality are. The message of her painting it conveys, it's just so beautiful and magical. To sum it up and give conclusion, therefore, animals are just like humans. They share the common language that allow them to communicate with others. A communication is not just created for human to human, but rather it also for animals and other creatures. Many will neglect or not give importance to them because they think they're merely animals but let us stop having a mindset like that. Let us take good care of them because they're precious. All animals have the right to be respected, loved, and be cared. Just like our pets in the house like dogs, gorilla can be very adorable also and most importantly, they have the ability to communicate and express their emotions like humans. So let's stop the stereotyping that they don't have worth because all creatures created by God has a purpose. And that's all for today's video. I hope you learned also from what I have shared to you. See you on my next video. Bye guys!